starting at tense over in the African Cup of Nations over in Group A with Ecuador and Guinea. And Guinea-Bissau trying to keep their dreams alive. Who's going to get advantage here? We're going to take a little look. video today we're taking a look at the match number two over in group a between equatorial guinea and guinea Bissau. who's going to get out and charge here we'll take a little look in a second of course if you knew where you've been smash your subscribe button back and see all things afcon related blah 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 related world football related we're going to all hear boys under one ruski that's right of course so far so good for equatorial guinea yet to taste defeat guinea Bissau are going to all to do this week as they look try to keep themselves in the mixer for at least one of the third place spots over in the competition we'll take a look at it all of it in a second of course big shout out to my vips they are the patrons of course you know who you are but anyway let's of course remind ourselves off uh, ourselves uh, about the, t the teams involved in this one of course coming at you over on the 18th of jan at the study olympic asani utada over the, uh, the African Cup of Nations that's right group a awakens uh for these two sides but let's remind ourselves of how we got to this stage of course between the two sides um of course uh, the the hosts in this one, Equatorial Guinea, uh, qualified as Group G runners up on the 17th of June, 2023. So their fourth tournament, their last was back in 2021. They've been, uh, the previous best was back in 2015, where they were fourth. Not too shabby there. Juan Micha, your, star, your, your manager there with Sal Kuku, your star man. 101 to go the distance. Uh, my prediction at the start of this was the group stages, but of course they've started off pretty good at the moment, of course, with that 1-1 one -one draw against Nigeria. Goodness gracious me, what a turn up for the books, of course, uh, Nigeria, one of the favourites for this one. Uh, but uh, right now, it's advantage Equatorial Guinea. They sit second in the table, ahead of the Super Eagles. And of course, going into the second game. Now, the second game for me has always been the must-not-lose game, of course. Now they've got their first point. Of course, the point's not going to be enough to guarantee yourselves top spot here, of course. But get yourself a victory here against Guinea Bissau. That'll put you on four points, and that should put you in the discussion for the last 16, of course. However, if you do lose this one, then of course, you go into the, the the big one against the the hosts, of course, which does look a very very sticky because So again, emphasising the point that this game is a must not lose uh, for Equatorial Guinea. Draw, you keep yourself in maybe a discussion to to somehow fudge your way into the second spot, but uh, it's going to be a difficult one, none the same. Let's take a look at the squad. Then the squad on the left hand side, the the team is on the right hand side. We've got Owono between the sticks, Dong Coco, of course, the star man there, Obiang Akpo. We've got Bukoro, Manchin, Gannett, of course, Salvador, Unsu, and Bula. Yeah, of course, those are the familiar players that hopefully will get the points that uh, Equatorial Guinea need to go through to the next stage. But their opposition will be Guinea-Bissau, qualified as Group A runners-up, 18th of June, 2023. This is their fourth tournament. 2021 was the last. And again, yet to get out of the group stages. I think one of these two sides are going to be doing, breaking some records this time around. Bako Kande is your manager there. Mama Balde is, of course, your star man. 151 to go the distance. And, of course, group stages has, a, has only been the destiny and so far in my eyes. I don't see much changing that and of course because these two sides are so similar uh in regards to stature they could actually do themselves uh, both a disjustice by drawing this game if it was to end a draw both sides you know will be looking or possibly staring at less than three points which of course will not be good enough for last 16 i doubt it i sincerely doubt it of course guinea bissau they played the most difficult game they're probably going to play all tournament and that was against the host on opening day this is just like on the other side of the coin here a must not lose game for guinea bissau win this one and guess what you're, you're, you're well in the conversation um and of course when we look at nigeria who were a bit of a shambles in their opening game. Guinea-Bissau should be looking at their lips when they take them on in their final game, of course. The situation at the table, though, has Guinea-Bissau bottom at the moment because of that loss. Uh, let's take a look at the squad then. Joko between the sticks. Kande, Zagante, Dejalo and Mendes. We've got Biko, Kasama, uh, Samido, Rodriguez, Balde and Mane up top. Those are the names, of course, of the faces that hopefully will get the points in the bag and we'll see if I'm right or if I'm wrong. Let's take a look then at the numbers then between the two sides. They are pleasure than never, of course, 
course, this will be the first time, according to my data anyway, in recent times. Ecuador are getting on 75% form for them right now, unbeaten in the last eight games. That's, of course, good momentum for them heading into this one, though. Guinea-Bissau, back-to-back defeats for them, 42% form for them, and they are sitting bottom of the table at the moment, of course. What about the public vote is out there. It's still early doors on the public vote, but 54% have gone with Ecuador or Guinea, 30% have gone with Guinea-Bissau, and the draw is at 16%. 7-5 to five is the bookies' odds here for Ecuador or Guinea, 23-10 to 10 is, of course, Guinea-Bissau, and 2-1 to one is the draw, of course. My vote, of course, going with this one, going with Cajones on the line here, going to go with a score draw here, which, again, like I said, is not going to do themselves any favours heading into the final game. Of course, both sides up against bigger opposition, and, of course, this could be the benefit of, uh, 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 you know, cutting off your nose to spite your face, of course, by duking it out to a score draw. So for me, cannot separate two sides. Can you? Let me know your thoughts and opinions as we look forward to match number two over in Group A. But until then, subscribe, thumbs up, catch you later for the next one. But until then, dudes and dudes, dudettes, I'll see you soon for the next.